G'day folks, Paul Swinton here. So what are the differences between the two versions of the Pediatric Scram line? In this video, I'm gonna run through a brief overview of the differences and get into the bags and an example of how each of the bags could be stocked that may help you decide as to which one is best suited for your system. Let's start with Pediatric Scram. It is designed for in-hospital and retrieval use and covers a weight range from birth to approximately 60 kilograms. As you open Pediatric Scram, you met with two distinctive areas. Firstly, the primary work area, which we'll come back to shortly, and then the secondary use area. This area consists of basic airway adjuncts, suction catheters appropriate for the pediatric airway, a selection of endotracheal tubes from a two and a half through to a six, spare blades and rescue devices. If we turn the supraglottic board over, what we have here is an information board which consists of a checklist, a whiteboard that you can write on with a marker pen and a easily accessible clinical support tool in this particular pouch we've got the age per page which would be particularly useful within a retrieval or remote part of a hospital within this area here this is the TP circuit and the masks thereof are located within the filing system as you can see here the nasogastric tube is uh, very visible and the corresponding enthral syringe uh, is also extremely easy to find, identified by the color code system. So if we move back to the primary work area, this consists of two kit dumps. On the left, we have all of the equipment required for a large child. And on the right, we have all the specific equipment needed for a smaller child with things that are common to both down the middle and then the bougies for the larger child and the smaller child running along the spine. This is another example of a fully kitted pediatric scram. And what you'll notice within the secondary use area is the McGrath Mac video laryngoscope. It sits quite comfortably within this area and is easily accessible. Let's now take a look at PED EMS SCRAM. It's designed for the pre-hospital environment and to complement an already established adult system as it covers a weight range from birth to approximately 40 kilograms, depending on how you choose to stock it. As you open the bag, the first thing you see are basic airway adjuncts. So we have Goodell Airways on the left and your superglottic devices on your right. The NG represents nasogastric, easily accessible, and within here you have your enthral syringe and your NG tube. This layout complements uh, the way in which pediatric airway is managed in that most of the time basic airway adjuncts uh, work quite fine, but if you need to escalate it from here, it is very easy to do. By flipping both of these boards up, we expose the equipment needed to perform intubation. The first thing that you see is the primary work area with kits on the left being for a large child, kits on the right being for a smaller child. Your stylets, suction catheters appropriate for a pediatric airway. As you can see, we have a bougie for a larger child and we have a bougie for a smaller child with the business end running parallel with the spine of the bag so as to keep that section straight. Teams that do not mind a gradual bend within a bougie would tend to keep them uh, within the bag as you can see here. However, teams that prefer a straight bougie would keep the bougies within a specific bougie holder. So if we move to the equipment for intubation, as you can see, all of the kit is readily available and easily accessible. 
with your spare blades, syringe, uh, blades for your VL device, ET adapter, entitled CO2 and filter. These following the correct orientation so as to protect your entitled CO2 as you can see in the drawing. Your adapter, entitled CO2 coming before your filter so as to protect your entitled CO2 from becoming contaminated. The actual tubes themselves, they are stored here from a size 3 to a size 6. All of them are whole size tubes as opposed to half. Uh, we do have space for a two and a half if that is a requirement. Within this area we have an information board. So it consists of checklists, a whiteboard to write on with the marker pen and a clinical support uh, tool. So within this pouch we've currently got an age per page which will come in particularly useful within the pre-hospital environment.